Hi, this is Hope. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to manage your ITG Center calendar. One thing first, the ITG Center calendar is for planning purposes only. Project managers and supervisors use it to plan assignments in ITG Center. Staff use it to record work days. They are unavailable. So this isn't a tool that you can use for recording or approving vacation and sick leave requests. You still have to do that through the VSL system. And it's also not used to manage your daily work schedule. You still need to keep your calendar for that. So ITG Center is for planning so that project managers can assign you work. And it's not used for recording VSL requests or approving them or managing your daily work schedule. So let me show you what this looks like in ITG Center. So here I am in the test or training instance of ITG Center. So I'm on my dashboard page where I have it set up to manage my tasks. From this main menu, I can select Open and then from Administration, View My Resource Information. This gets me to the resource information for me, which includes in this general tab my name, um, who's my supervisor. Since I'm looking at the training instance, it doesn't have real information in it. But when you look at your resource information in ITG Center, it will have accurate information about your phone number, your direct manager, and other information like that. What I want out of this resource information area is the calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that tab. The calendar pops up in the current month. So I'm recording this in May, so it starts out with May. It gives you options to change the month if you want. So you can go back and forth. You can also change the year and jump to a year ago or a year ahead. Or you can just reset it by clicking on the Today button over here to get back to the current month. If I want to add items on here for planning purposes, Let's say, for example, I know that I'm going to be out Friday the 28th, and we're working on planning for that week. I can click on that date, and I can go over to Set Selected Days, and check the radio button next to Non-Working Day over here. And it highlights the date, and then I can go over here to Reason and give it a reason. So I'm going to select Vacation. And in order to add that to the calendar, I just click Apply. So now that vacation day is added to May 28th. I didn't write a description because it wasn't really necessary since it's just for planning and I wanted to just include that I was on vacation that date. Now that I've added that day that I'm going to be unavailable, I want to click Save up here. So that is now saved to the calendar. To make any changes, it's basically the same process. You just make one change under the reason. So I can click on that date. And non-working date, you can see, is selected already. And the reason selected as vacation. I can change that just to this top choice, the blank one, and click Apply. And it'll remove that as a vacation day. So if I actually had to change my mind and pick a different vacation day, for whatever reason, I can go in and make that adjustment. So I'll go ahead and save this. And I can click Done. That'll get me out of my resource information and back to the dashboard page I was looking at last. That's all I need to do in order to update my calendar for planning purposes in ITG Center.